Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again at Whole Health Foundation. In this video I'm going to display another juice formula for my quest on juices for spine health. These juices will actually rejuvenate the whole body but this formula is especially designed for spine health and I'm going to display my ingredients. One of the most important ingredients is French sorrel that I have here. Here I have some French sorrel growing in my garden. I grow everywhere and every year when the root ball grows it sends off a runner. You can see this one is sent off a runner and I've got another plant growing here at the front. If you look carefully at that plant you'll notice that this was the original plant. Runner's gone off here or runner's gone off there but you can also dig it up and quarter the plant and plant it in pots or other places in the garden and get more more plants here. I also have some celery, some collard greens, and here I have a zucchini that was so big I had to cut it into sixths. I have garlic, ginger, beet tops, one medium sized beet, some broccoli stems and some lettuce. So there you have my ingredients for today's juice and let's go ahead and make some juice. Okay, I'm down to the last of my collard greens so next I'm going to juice the French sorrel. And I want to remind you that the French sorrel is one of the most beneficial plants that you can put into your juices and even salads if you want it in a salad. It will cleanse every gland in your body and it is especially useful for spine health. So next we are going to do the greens and then we'll switch to carrots. When I'm done making my greens and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, the what's known as a J grid with a 3 16 inch holes, clean it and I'm going to switch to the grid that has 1 8 inch holes because it does a better job on carrots. So we'll set this aside and clean it later. The 1 8 inch holes for carrots, beetroots, other soft vegetables. And then we'll begin with carrots. And if you have small carrots like I do, you can reverse them. Maybe even put in three to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to point out that I'm making juice on the new Whole Health Foundation Premium 800 model juicer with the solid bottom plate. The solid bottom plate has a lifetime warranty and I'm going to explain further when I'm juicing why that's so important. So let's start with some carrots. out a couple of things. Check your wing nuts. Push down with both hands whenever possible because you want to keep your posture erect. And check your thermometer frequently. When it gets up to 20 degrees centigrade, add some ice cubes. Okay, I'm done with my carrots now and I want to point out whenever possible use both hands so that your posture is erect. Rotate your bowl. And when you're down to your last carrots, there's always a little plug of carrot in here. So take some pulp, put it in, and force that last little plug through. All right, I finished cleaning the feed tube. And a couple little tips. You want to put the cutter on top, never leave it on the machine. Hole facing down so that water drains out. And put the grid with the grid holder back in the juicer. And the next step will be to mix the produce. And what I'm going to do is spin the bowl in both directions. Once I go all the way around, I'm going to reverse direction. And you can see that it's getting really mixed well. So I have six cloths for my six cloth method, which I'm going to demonstrate next. So we have all my cloths unfolded. And what I'm going to do now is what I call my six cloth method. My less work six cloth method. And what you do is you put three medium spoons in each cloth and watch my folding technique. Fold it over, flatten it down, 
fold it over as tight as you can get it, flatten it down, a little crease back here, and then grab this with your fingers and tuck it under. Now watch carefully, I'll do this slowly. And then you set it aside. We want to press two cloths full of pulp at a time. So two heaping spoons or three medium spoons, there's two heaping spoons. Fold it over, flatten it down, fold it over, flatten it down. And watch again as I pull this under with my fingers and then set it aside. This is going to go in the tray, centered, all the way back and back it off. And I want to point out, because of the bottom base plate being solid, and it does have a lifetime warranty, you can leave your press up longer and extract more juice. Now in the beginning, I'm not going to leave it up as long as I can because I'm going to be repacking these with my less work six cloth method. So let's get that started. We'll get a new set of cloths going here. And this next step is very important because I'm not going to throw away the pulp. Here's my six cloth method. This comes forward, this goes over, the spent cloths go on top. This goes in the tray centered, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now, instead of throwing away this pulp, what I'm going to do is put two spoons full on top. In the beginning, two spoonfuls. Toward the end, this will be a thicker patty, so you only want to put one spoonful. So we'll put a couple of spoonfuls, medium spoonfuls, on top, pull it into a tight package, flatten it, use my folding technique, flatten it, that's very important to have that flat. Advance that a little bit, and I notice I'm getting pretty full here, so I'm going to stop and fill up my bottles. Again, pull this into a tight, compact package. That's almost too big, but acceptable. Pull this forward, pull that over, and this, we're going to set up here the spent cloths. The tray we're going to put back but so that it's obvious that it's not seated correctly. If you put it back just a tiny bit to stop this from dripping, you'll forget and you'll damage your tray. So put it back all the way and we'll take this over and fill the bottles. Now I'm leaving about 8% to top off with distilled water. That's that a little bit more, and I'm down to my last little bit of pulp, so I'm using a spatula to get that out. I want to get every drop of juice from my produce that I can. So that's that all the way. And while that's going up, what I'm going to do with this spent cloth is I'm going to pull it into a tight ball. Just watch what I'm doing here. Come in close. Take the spent pulp, make a tight package, and let's see if we can get any more juice out of that spent pulp. And notice what I'm doing at the end. I'm tucking this under to prevent any slippage. Turn it upside down, flatten it. And again, I'm going to point out how I fold them on the bottom so that there's no slippage. And I want to see from this spent pulp, already pressed out juice, how much more juice we can get using a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer. So we'll put two of these cloths in here and I want to mention again that you can leave the Whole Health Foundation model up longer than 20 seconds. So all the way back, we're going to back it off a little bit. And I have a measuring beaker here that's going to tell us how many ounces we get all the way. A little too fast, so I'm going to back it off a little bit. So far, we've got two extra ounces. As long as we have a stream of juice, I'm going to leave it up. Let's set this aside, press it later, and go to another set of cloths. Again, this is spent pulp. We'll 
very important to make the sure this is centered in both directions because this is under tremendous pressure all the way back. I'm going to back it off a tiny bit in the beginning. So far, eight ounces. I'm going to go all the way. Now because my beaker is full, I'm going to back that off and I'm going to pour this into a, a bottle. Oh, so far another six ounces. Oh my goodness. That's it all the way. Another eight ounces. Okay, I'm not going to press every last thimble full out. I just want to demonstrate the point. And from the spent pulp, we got another more than 16 ounces. <clears throat> I want to point out at the end of this video that the last 10% of your juice has the most concentrated nutrients. So if you're doing this for health, especially if you have cancer, you want to get that last 10% of those nutrients, a very powerful healing nutrients in that last 10%. And that's why the Whole Health Foundation bottom base plate is solid to enable you to keep that up longer than 20 seconds. Let's see if we can squeeze even more juice out of that. I'm going to put one more cloth on top here. And let's fill that right to the top. And let's see We've got a half an ounce in there. Let's see if we can get any more out of that. So I'll back it off a little bit. So we're getting another half an ounce, and I, I suspect if I continue to press this and took the time, I'd get another full ounce of juice. But for the sake of keeping this video brief, I'm not going to do that. And there you have a demonstration, my friends. I hope you found that helpful. Right, before I end this video, I want to point out that I've made 5, 10, 15, 17 bottles plus an extra. 16, probably 20 ounces, because I've already drank about 6 ounces. So from the juice, 15, 17 bottles plus an extra 16 ounces from pressing the spent pulp. And I wanted to point that out before we end this video. Demonstration, my friends, I hope you found that helpful. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. And if you'd like more information about the Whole Health Foundation Premium Model Juicer, many parts have a lifetime warranty, give me a phone call or send me an email. I'll see you in the next video.